Here's how to do higher order partial derivatives in mathematics. So suppose you have a function. Uh, let's let's define a function real quick here, like um, say uh, something easy. Let's say y times x to the second power plus let's say y. Okay. Um, now uh, I already showed you in a previous video to do uh, first order partial derivatives. You just uh, do capital D and then the function and then comma and then the variable. So that would be the first derivative with uh, respect to x. Now, if you want to do the second derivative, in other words, the derivative of x and then the derivative of x again, here's what you do. You, uh, you take the variable, you can put it inside curly brackets, x and then comma two. And, and that's, that will give you the second derivative um, with respect to x both times. Um, or you can also do x comma x. This is a little bit uh, more versatile. This says take the first derivative with respect to x and then the second derivative with respect to x. So again, 2y. Now, uh, you know about mixed partial derivatives. You could do like, for example, um, the first derivative with respect to x and then the second derivative with respect to x. Excuse me, <laughs> I'm sorry. The first derivative with respect to x and the second derivative with respect to y. And then you get 2x. Um, and then if you want to verify the theorem that says that um, the order doesn't matter when you do mixed partial derivatives. So if you do the derivative with respect to y first and then x, see, same answer. Okay, now if you want to do something like, um, say, the first derivative with respect to x, the second derivative with respect to x, and then the third derivative with respect to y, then uh, there you go. Uh, and so you can just keep, keep on going. Um, you can also do, if you want to get really crazy, you could do something like... Um, like the first derivative with respect to x three times. So in other words, the the first sec the first derivative with respect to x, the second derivative with respect to x, third derivative with respect to x, and then comma, and then maybe you want to do the 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 fourth derivative with respect to y, and then you want to do let's say um, the the fifth derivative with respect to x, and then the sixth derivative with respect to x, and, and then maybe the seventh derivative with respect to y and the eighth derivative with respect to y or something. You can do just get crazy like that if you want to. This is just going to be zero, but but uh, you, you can just go as as many derivatives as as you want. And and um, and that's it for higher order, higher order 